Hey guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter six, lesson two. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, we are doing exactly the same thing as 6.1, but we're just subtracting instead of adding. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite the problem really quickly. Okay, so we are going to make the denominators the same, okay? The smallest thing that four and eight both go into is going to be eight. That's my new denominator. Okay. This one is already an eight. I'm just gonna write it down. Okay. This one I have to multiply four by two to get to eight. So then I need to multiply the top by two as well, and I get six. Okay. So now is the easy part. Six minus three. Three. Three eighths, that's your answer, guys. Okay. All right. Um, let's do number five. Okay, so I'm going to skip to number five. Okay. Number five says two thirds minus one fourth. Okay. So the smallest number. That two and three, or sorry, three and four both go into is going to be 12. Again, these will start to become automatic to you the more you do them. Okay, you will start to see three and four and just know that the answer is 12. Okay, so three you had to multiply by four to get to 12, so now you need to multiply the top by four and you get eight. Four you had to multiply by three, multiply the top by three, you get three. Now eight minus three, five. Five twelves. That's it, guys. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and skip down. We're going to do number 12 together. You know, let's, let's keep it continuous and do number eight. Okay. Okay. So, number eight. I'm going to keep it on the page this time and see if we can keep it skinny, okay? All right, so. Okay, smallest number two and eight go into is going to be eight. Okay, now eight, it's already eight, so I'm going to keep my five. This one I had to multiply by four, so I need to multiply the top by four, and I get four, and five minus four is one. One, eight. Okay? Okay. Number 11. Again, four and eight, it's gonna be eight. Okay? This one's already eight, I'm keeping it, okay? The four, I had to multiply by two. Multiply the top by two, I'm gonna get two. So five minus two, three. Three, eight. Okay? All right. We're gonna go down and do the word problem. Okay? Number 13 says, Amber has three eighths of a cake left after her party. She wrapped a piece that was a quarter of the original cake for her best friend. What fraction, what fractional part did she have left for herself? Okay, so we are going to do three eighths minus one quarter. Okay, okay, so smallest number they're both gonna go into is gonna be eight. Okay, I have to multiply the four by two. And this one is already an eight, so I'm gonna put that three there, okay? Now three minus two, one eight, okay? All right. All right, okay. Wesley bought a half a pound of nails for a project. When he finished the project, he had a quarter pound of nails left. How many pounds of nails did he use? So, one half 
minus one quarter. Oh, I can't see, sorry. Okay, so smallest number two and four both go into is going to be four. Okay, the second one is already a four. I'm going to leave it. Okay, this one, I had to multiply two by, by two to get four. So now I'm going to multiply the top by two, and I get two. So now two minus one, one. One quarter pound. Okay, the label is in pounds. Okay, then go on to the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. We're going to take care of the spiral review together. Okay? All right. Spiral review. Number three is Jasmine's race time was 34.287 minutes. Round her place into the nearest tenth of a minute. Well, the tenth is where that two is. Okay? So, everything before it is going to stay the same. And then we're going to look at the eight. Does the eight tell the two to go up? Well, five or bigger tells it to go up, which means it's going to go up. Okay? All right. The art club is having a fundraiser and 198 people are attending. If 12 people can sit at a table, what's the least number of tables needed? So, I'm actually going to do this one right here. Okay. So, 12 is not going to go into 1. 12 will go into 19 one time. 1 times 12 is 12. 9 minus 2 is 7. Bring down my 8. Okay? All right. I'm going to come over here really fast because I have to make 12 go into 78. And I'm just going to write down my multiples of 12. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84. Okay? So. Looks like 72 is about as close as I'm going to get. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. 6 times 12 was 72. And we had 6 left over. Okay, so now we have 16 tables, but we need one more for that, for the remainder. Okay, so the least amount of tables they can have is 17. Okay. All right, don't forget to write down your work. It's important. You don't have to write down your multiples. It's just your work, okay? All right. During the day, Sam spent $4.85 on lunch. He also bought two books for $7.95 each. At the end of the day, he had $8.20 left. How much money did he start with, okay? So I'm going to come over here again, and I'm going to go... 4.85, and I'm going to write down that $8.20, okay? And then over here, I'm going to do a side bit of math and do that $7.95 times 2, okay? So 2 times 5, 10, carry the 1. 2 times 9, 18, plus 1, 19, carry the 1. 2 times 7, 14, plus 1, 15, go in one, two places. Okay, and I'm going to put down 1590 over here. Okay, so that's how much money he spent, the 485 and the 1590. That's how much money he spent, and then at the end of the day, he had $8.20. Now we just need to know how much it was that he started with. Okay, so I'm going to drop my decimal. I'm adding decimals. Okay, drop my decimal first. That's the very first thing I do. Five plus zeros is going to be five. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 9 is 19, carry the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 8 is 13, plus 5 is 18, carry the 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2, $28.95. Okay. Make sure you guys write down your work. It's important. Okay? 
All right. What is the product of 7.5 and 1,000? Well, here's the cool thing, guys. Okay. 1,000 has three zeros in it, which tells us, oh, you guys can't see it again, which tells us that we need to move the decimal three times. One, two, three. Got to fill those in with zeros. 7,500. Okay. Okay. Thanks for hanging out for 6.2. Come on back for 6.3. See you soon.